Well, I'm in my usual lay-by, out for a Sunday afternoon ride, giving the new Mavic Axiom wheel set a bit of a shakedown. Welcome to the vlog. Right, well, initially, this first little ride down here, they seem to roll f a lot better. I don't know whether that's just uh, coincidence because they're new, or I expected them to. But yeah, they seem to roll a lot quicker. They come completely yeah, with Mavic hubs, sealed cartridge bearings, the spacer, for the nine, eight, eight and nine speed cassette is supplied. Now I'm going to be out of the saddle in a bit, so I'll give them a bit of a, a shove up the hill. I'm going to go up there. Right, oh, ah. I just stopped at the top of that climb. Well, it's not actually the top, it's as far as I'm going to go because there's a lane in front of me. I'm going to go that way in a minute. Well, out of the saddle, they seem stiff. They seem a lot stiffer. It gives me a lot more confidence getting out of the saddle. Getting out of the saddle for me has been a bit of a problem area because I always felt so ungainly and unbalanced. And the other thing I noticed was less vibration in the front. Now, I have my front tyre about 80 psi and I have not changed it putting these new wheels on. It's always been 80 psi in the front, 100 in the back. Now this one, this is the 500. The 500, a couple of years ago, it's different now, but a couple of years ago, Chromoly front fork. Uh, I think the 500 now is, is carbon. But uh, so I've got steel front fork on there, harsh anyway, but less harsh you feel up through the front end. Braking feels positive. I can't really tell the difference between the two. The, the, the between stock wheels were fairly good once once I got used to it, which when I first bought the bike took me took me a, took me a while. But that, I think, comes from riding a mountain bike with disc, hydraulic disc brakes. Certainly at the moment, the opinions are good. Right, well, I hope you all managed to get out this weekend. When you be time you see this, it'll probably be Monday or Tuesday, knowing how slow I am at getting uh, vlogs up. Uh, but, yeah, uh, there's a vlog up, put up uh, yesterday or the day before. Check that out, me and Hills. It's rather a long one. Anyway, moving on. Just uh, while we're here, we're on the other side of the Ecclesbourne Valley. That side is where I was last week and the week before.
I do like these wheels. Seem to tick all the right boxes. Yeah. Roll faster, smoother. They appear stiffer or they feel stiffer. Especially when out of the saddle. Yeah, definitely recommend it. If you're going to upgrade, and this is your first wheel upgrade, then highly recommend them. So, it's not really a review. I don't like really doing reviews so much because it's not, not uh, so early on anyway. Maybe a, a couple of months down the line, we'll give them a see how they're going. Uh, so yeah, more like a, a shakedown, an overview if you like. One thing I'm going to add, and I've just thought about it. Before, before I put the wheels on the bike, I had to slack off the brake calipers. I tightened them up on the barrel, uh, I had made adjustments on the barrel adjusters to allow for a little brake pad wear. I had to slacken that back off again when I put the Mavics in, which suggests to me that they are a micron or so wider because now the barrel just as it's lagging off the brakes are just right now whether that has something to do with what I was saying earlier on about the tyres about the less harshness through the front end has something to do with the tyre now being pushed wider apart I don't know I don't do science so if you like this vlog give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't already and if you have already thanks a bunch until the next one stay safe enjoy your cycling and i'll see you in the next vlog